The art was something that we felt had to carry through the whole job. So it was not just a case of beautiful pictures, beautiful photographs, beautiful sculptures. It was a case of art in everything we did. Art to us is not just art on a wall or a sculpture in the garden. Art is everything from the fountains to the design of the balustries out on the ocean, to the umbrellas, to the design of the patio chairs, to the use of infinity pools, which we have both in Aquilina, the mansions of Aquilina, and we will have at the estates of Aquilina. To us, art is everything that's involved in the pieces of the estates of Aquilina. The art carries through to all the finishes that we use, whether it's the tiles, the brick, whether it's the marble, whether it's the fabric. We've done a lot of research to try to evaluate what makes a residence fine, what makes it luxurious. When you walk into Aqualina and you perceive the materials and the finishes, they didn't happen by chance. We source things all over the world. We work with the mill workers experimenting on stains, on sheens. Then we start sourcing fabrics. We keep looking at them until we feel, okay, this is the composition, this is the color, the colors are working, the textures are working. It's creating the mood we want. Throughout Aquilina, this focus on green, where you have a park joining a beach, which is very unusual because of space limitations, we're able to do. Oftentimes in Italian gardens, you have these long axial vistas with some kind of punctuation at the end of those vistas. In our case, we have the Atlantic Ocean. What we really want it to feel like when you're coming into this development is a true departure from the city around you. Our residents like the fact that they can walk out to the backyard, sit in their lounges on the grass, under the coconut trees. And it may be your favorite quaint place in the garden surrounded by a lush landscape. I have a buyer from Brazil that's a landscape architect. The most important thing to her was the landscape sculpture art gardens on the top deck that she could walk with her grandkids. Other components include large open lawn areas that can be set up as a multi-purpose event so you and your family could maybe come out and rent the space and have an activity. And that's a design principle that we really applied to these states at Aqualina. It's all part of what we do here. In order to create the right atmosphere, we would commission special pieces of art at Aqualina and then later at the mansions of Aqualina so that the art fit the mood of what we're trying to achieve. It's very important that the work selected are fluid and congruent with the Aqualina brand because we are trying to communicate a specific message. We work very closely with the architects and the interior designers so that the aesthetic goes in line with them as well. We're very fortunate that we can work and seek renowned artists, which we work very closely with so that we understand each other's parameters. Miami is an international city. We want to make sure that we select art that speaks to all languages and that different residents can relate to and feel at home. Through the process, we achieve incredible art installations. Most of them are site-specific, so every material is choreographed in a way that it comes together in a very fine composition which is very unique in creating the world's finest residences.